All right, guys, so now let's clean and inspect the NTS-801. As you guys can see here, I've laid out all the parts of the tool right in front of me in order. This will help us keep organized, and it'll help whenever it's time to assemble the tool back up. All right, the first thing I want to show you guys is what comes inside of the tool kit, which is the microfiber cloth, the strike hole degreaser, and your wire brush. Okay, so remember, always keep your safety glasses and your gloves handy whenever you're gonna clean this tool. You don't wanna spray anything on your face or get one of the metal pieces in your eyes. You wanna be very careful with that. Okay, so let's start with the parts and see what we have to clean here. Okay, we're gonna inspect and go through the spall guard real quick. All right, just make sure there's no cracks or anything on it, okay, and just wipe it down real quick. All right, just set it aside. Not, don't need to spend too much time on that, okay. I like to set our one of the cloths in front of me, one of the rags in front of me, so we can start spraying some of the parts. Uh, we'll start off with the muzzle, okay. And the first thing to, you have to do is you have to take off the gaskets. All right, these two will come right off the threads. And now we're gonna have to spray it down. This tool has been out on the field, seen a couple of shots, so uh, you'll see some dirt coming out of it. So let's spray it down, spray the inside as well. We're gonna brush out the threads, all right? Make sure you get in there real well, both of them. Yeah. Okay, and the inside as well. All right, once you've done that, Take your rag and make sure it's very clean. Okay, so it's perfect now. We grab our gaskets, make sure you assemble them. Okay, and we're good to go. Let's move on to the debris cup. Okay, quick spray. Grab our wire brush, brush it down need to spend too much time on it wipe it right off now we're on to the end cap okay the end cap is going to be a little bit dirtier it's going to have some dirt in there and you're going to want to make sure the threads are real clean because those go right on the trigger body okay so just make sure you get in there okay this wire brush is perfect because it fits into every single cavity of the tool so quick make sure that's clean and then we can set it right down now these are two different parts okay this is the firing spring this is your buffer all right all you have to do with the buffer is make sure it's pretty clean and there's no uh, no issues with it uh, this one looks great so we're just gonna set it aside for a second this firing spring needs to be wiped down okay always inspect them always make sure they're not warped or there's you know no damages, nothing going on with your firing spring. This one looks good, so we're gonna set it aside. It's pretty clean. And now we move on to the outer cover sleeve. This outer cover sleeve goes right over the trigger body. So you're gonna make sure you spray it down, okay? Grab your wire brush, brush out the inside. All right, make sure you get in there. And then we're gonna grab our cloth and wipe down the inside. All right, looks pretty clean, looks good to go. Now we're on to the main assembly pin. All right, looks pretty good. Okay, we can just wipe it down. Just gonna do that real quick, and then we're good to go. Set it aside. Now we're on to a very, very important uh, piece that we have to clean up really well. Okay, the trigger body. Okay, we're gonna need to spray this down really, really good, both ends and the slot as well. Okay, I like to start off with the slot, brush it down, get in there, the top and bottom. 
Okay. This is definitely going to have some dirt in it, so I want to make sure you do a good job with the trigger body. All right. Now wipe it down. And you're good to go. Okay. Same thing with the reset spring. Always inspect your springs. Make sure they're in good, good shape before you do anything with them or try to reassemble your tools. So this one looks pretty clean, so all we have to do is wipe it down. All right. Set it aside. Now we're on to the reset sleeve. Okay, reset sleeve. Same thing, we're going to spray it. We're going to grab our wire brush. We're going to make sure brush it down real well. Back end as well. Get in there. Now we can wipe it down. Okay. All right, we got all the dirt out of there. So we're good to go. Set it down. And we get to the firing pin assembly. Okay, these are pretty small parts. We have the trigger ball, the trigger ball spring, and we also have a roll pin here, which we'll get to in a second. Uh, these look to be in pretty good shape. Okay, we inspect the trigger ball spring, make sure it's in good, good condition. It looks to be, and all we're going to do with these is we're going to wipe them down. All right. Now that we've done that, we grab our trigger ball, same thing. You guys can see that, just wipe it down. They're good to go, all right? I like to assemble these two after I've cleaned them just so there's less of a chance of you losing them. All right, so now we're, we uh, have our firing pin guide. Spray it down on the inside, the outside as well. You might have some buildup around the outside where it comes in contact with the uh, nose piece. So you want to make sure you brush it out, do the inside as well. Okay, you're good to go. Swipe it down. Okay, let's set it aside. And now we have the firing pin holder, the roll pin, and the firing pin. Okay, I like to keep these three together because we have to inspect them. We have to make sure that the roll pin is in good shape, it's not bent. Same thing with the firing pin, okay? We want to make sure that the tip is in good shape. That's one of the most important things, all right? The tip is gonna be, it's flat and it has a cut right in the middle, all right? So that's, that's what's gonna tell us that that firing pin is still in good shape. Obviously, you wanna make sure that it's not cracked or it's not bent or anything like that. Um, but same thing with these parts. We're gonna grab our strike cool degreaser, spray them down, and then get to scrubbing them. Scrub down firing pin, a roll pin if possible. Sometimes you just have to spray it down and it'll be fine. You can just wipe it down right after. Now the holder is very important, the through hole here, you get in there, you clean it up. That's where the main assembly pin is gonna go. So make sure you get that. The hole for the uh, trigger ball spring and the firing pin as well, as well as the sides. You'll see some build up there. Okay, once you've done that, as you guys can see, it's pretty clean now. We'll just wipe it down. Okay, we can set these parts in the same order so we can assemble the tool 